You in a strip club, what do you mean? Why are we talking about money? One thing about it, I'm gonna turn nothing into something. I messaged him whatever while he was engaged. Here you go. Thank you. Behind the scene. What's up guys? Today's video is brought to you by Yida Home, pure and easy. Yida Home has a fantastic range of high quality home furniture and they were nice enough to send your girl over a two-in-one jewelry cabinet. This is so cute. I can't wait for y'all to see us put it together. It was so easy to put together, literally. Super easy, but I still didn't do it myself. And while we put this together, I just want to put my girls on because, of course, I have a discount code for you guys. All you have to do is enter HONEY with two E's for 15% off the entire website. I will have all the links down below in the description box, of course. This literally only took about five to 10 minutes to put together. It was so easy to put together. There are literally so many different types of compartments inside. You can put your hoop earrings, your bracelets, your chains. There's so much room for all of your jewelry inside of here. So out with the old, in with the new. I'm excited for y'all to see. It looks so cute. I love the size of this mirror. I literally took some pictures in this mirror and they were perfect. I love that my chains can hang like this so that I don't have to worry about them getting tangled up. So again, thank you to Yida Home for sending me this cute two-in-one jewelry cabinet. Make sure you guys go ahead and check their website out. It'll be down below in the description box. Now let's get into today's video. Stay like we're storm bad, let me take you shopping. I tell him all well, I'm a little busy. He said them I'm in your city. But anyway, it's okay. Hope you have a good day. I'ma see you by day 50. Then I told him you treat me so well. He said can't shop for sale. Matter of fact, scratch that. I'ma see what's that. Just cause you fine as hell. And I told him well thank you, baby. Anything for my favorite lady. Well, I gotta go. They just let me know that I could pick up a Mercedes. I got hoes. In different area codes. He knew what's up. Everywhere I go, I call in a drop below. What's up, guys? So today's Thursday, and your girl's doing her makeup. It's Thursday night. It's about 8 o'clock right now, 8.30 something. I'm getting ready. Oh, wait. This is a new video. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Honey K, and make sure you subscribe because we live over here. Period. Okay, now, today's Thursday night, y'all, and we're getting ready for work. We're getting ready for work early tonight because on Thursdays, my club has performances. They allow, like, different artists to come and perform at the club before a certain time. So, one of the girls who's performing hit me up on Instagram, and she was like, are you going to be at work tonight? I'm bringing a lot of guys with money, and I'm like, oh, okay, bet, well... I wasn't gonna go to work, but if it's for some money, that makes sense for me to go. So I'm gonna go. And as y'all saw earlier, I got my hair done. So my hair is curly short. I did a poll on Instagram because I couldn't decide if I wanted to get long hair or short hair. And short and curly actually won. I just have it clipped up right now. But yeah, super cute. 
I might wear her up, to be honest. I might just wear her and have her curly and wear her up. Because I kind of like this hair up, too. I also might wear her down. I haven't decided yet. But, y'all, this is my first time wearing a wig twice, which is crazy. But I really like this um, brand. So, I kept this wig purposely, knowing I like this brand. And I liked... This is, like, my favorite curly hair I've ever had. I had to keep this wig for myself. I got my lashes done yesterday, so lashes are easy. Period. I'm going to go get my nails done tomorrow. I was going to take them off today, but thank God I didn't take them off before that girl hit me up. So I'm just going to keep these on. They're not that bad, but they're kind of bad. Like, you can see the new girl for sure. But I'm like, it'll get me through today, you know? And the way I'm getting my nails done is going to be so fire. I'm getting duck nails. I love duck nails, y'all. It's either square or duck for me. That's it. Them is my two faves. I'm going to my girl nails by her. She going to eat every time we get together. One thing about it, my hairstylist, my nail tech, and my lash tech, they all gonna eat. I just have a great feeling about this weekend. I know I'm gonna have a ball. Y'all, one thing about my brows, like, since they're freshly done, I have not done anything to them at all. But there's really no need to. Like, she does such a good job. They really eat. I love them like this. They're gonna peel though, so they actually started cracking a little bit on the ends. And once they completely peel off, they're going to lighten. If you didn't watch my last vlog, I got my brow ombre done. But yeah, I'm going to finish getting ready, y'all. I'll check back in with y'all before I leave the crib. All right, y'all. I'm ready to go. I look cute as fuck. I'm not talking to you. Just shh for a second. This is the finished look. I ended up wearing my hair down. I'm about to put my clothes on and head out the door. Hopefully, it's a good night. Hopefully, she don't have me coming to work for no reason. But regardless, we're going to make a bag. So I'll see y'all once I get to work or once I get back home. Either way. Y'all, I've been right here straightening my money on the floor, though. I didn't want to put this on my desk, so I'm like, I'm going to count it on the floor. I really want to tell y'all, like, how tonight went. Let's talk about tonight. So the girl who was going to perform came to the club i seen her i said hi to her and then she was like oh my homegirl whoop de -whoop, put me on to you and said you work here and then she gets on stage she performs she throws money at me or whatever i don't want to say too much because i know certain people watch me but at the end of the day it's like i don't be saying nothing but facts on here so if you feel the type of way you just mad at facts i guess but like don't ask me to dance on stage when you go on stage to perform your song if you're just gonna post something weird on your story after don't be weird like people just be weird she has said she wanted somebody thicker on her instagram story so why you didn't just get somebody thicker to go on stage with you i think she had like 200 dollars. she threw that and then one of my guy friends threw like i don't know a little bit like 50 dollars, 100 dollars, something like that when i was on stage and then i had danced in a section i felt like i did all the work it was four girls on the bag I feel like I did all the work, literally. I made all of the money. Like, I could have just danced by myself. I hate that. I hate when it's just one dude throwing money and none of the other dudes is throwing money. And you're just making all the money because the guy that likes you is the one that's throwing the money. I be wanting to tell girls, like, look, he not throwing no money, so we're going to have to wrap this up. Y'all dancing, they not throwing no money. He's the only one throwing money, so... I'm going to just do this by myself. Sometimes I do say it, but tonight I didn't. I just kind of was like, his homies is entertained. I'm not trying to kill the vibe. Like I always say, you got to be able to read the room. So I could tell that he wanted his homies to be entertained because then I'm going to kill the vibe and then they not even going to want me right here. I'm like, I'm going to just take one for the team. And then shout out my girl, Daylin. I was on one of the side stages making a little bit. I made a few dollars, nothing, nothing crazy, like... I made like $5 over there. And then my girl, Daylin, she said she watched my videos, period. Shout out to her. She came and was like, I want you to dance over here. And I was like, oh, do y'all got girls over there already? I'm trying to make sure before I even leave the side stage and lose my spot. She like, yeah, but I want you over there. And I was looking and I'm like, it don't look like it's no money on the floor yet. So I'm like, okay, babe, I'm gonna just come over there. And I like picked my money up that I had on the, on the stage. And then I went over there. She was definitely showing love. It was so cool meeting her. I love when I get to meet y'all at work. When y'all see me and y'all tell me that y'all know who I am and y'all show me love in the club, it be lit. I ain't gonna lie. Like, when she brought me over there, what? Turned the whole section up. 
I had ended up getting one of her friends to throw like $200 more at me. So I was like, oh, period. Thank you for bringing me over there, girl. If you see this video, shout out to you, Daylin. I'm still happy that I went to work though and made some money because I was going to stay home. But we finna see once we count this money if it was worth it or not. So like this right here. I ended up drinking a little bit tonight. I'm like sober now, but when I was in the club, when I tell y'all I was on it tonight, I was not playing with niggas tonight. I was not wasting my time. I was not doing none of that. I'm finna be on that all weekend. When I tell y'all I was not playing, I was not playing. One of these dudes was like, ooh, it's a 20 in here, y'all. I know that's right. Came up to me and was like, what's your name? I'm like, honey. He like, you know, you fine as hell. I'm like, thank you. Do you got a boyfriend? I'm like, no, but why does that matter? And he gonna say, cuz I'm trying to get your number or something. I said, how you trying to get my number and you didn't even throw no money at me yet? Sometimes I be in a mood to have a little chit chat, but most of the time, make it make sense. What are you asking me if I got a boyfriend for? What are you asking me for my number for? You ain't even throw no money at me, be for real. His response was even crazier. He gonna say, why we talk about money? Let's talk about money later. I said, talk about money later. You in a strip club. What do you mean? Why are we talking about money? He like, oh, damn, I see how you coming. He gonna say, that's all you care about. Y'all, I walked away. Because what do you mean? I like, yes, that's all I care about. Yes, it is. I'm at work. Sometimes niggas really just be like a waste of a conversation, and you cannot just be wasting your conversation. The best way to get my attention is to throw some money at me. You're in a strip club. Long story short, that's how my night went, y'all. Got a $5 bill. Period. I ended up having to buy a thong tonight. So that's deducted $10 out my money. Then I did tip out. I've been talking for 17 minutes and that's a lot to edit. And I hate when I do that. I'm finna just check back in with y'all once I finish counting this money. Okay, y'all. So we about to run our money. Why did I just get like the Bible notification on my phone, right? And it literally says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. That is a word, okay? John chapter 1 verse 9. For everybody who wants to judge, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins. And I was reading comments earlier that y'all were saying about how it's just not right for people to be trying to judge me and make me feel bad for going to church and stuff. But I appreciate y'all in the comments, as always. Don't mind the mirror in the back. Let me close this door. We got our money right here, all straightened. We about to run this. <laughs> y'all so this is the end of february because it was thursday so it was the 29th this is how we ended february february was a good month for me and i feel like march is gonna be even better this is way too loose i need a different rubber band we have this stack of hundreds it's 80 dollars in ones and then 20 in the front so it makes it 100 200 300 4 5 Six, seven, eight, nine, and then eleven dollars. We got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we made nine. Wait, 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 wait. We made nine hundred and eleven dollars on a Thursday. Almost a band. Y'all, I'm happy with that. One thing about it, I'm gonna turn nothing into something. And I made it happen tonight because tonight was not the best. So, I'm happy with my 9-11. Blessed. Grateful. This is the start of our weekend. I'm glad I went to work tonight. Tomorrow, we're going to make another bag. Probably even double it. Okay? Period.
what's up guys so it's friday night now and we're about to head out the door and go to work today i was just editing a video working on a video honestly i did not even get as close to halfway finished as i need to be tomorrow saturday it has to be up by sunday and i damn near still have a whole video to do like basically i'm gonna try my hardest to finish it tomorrow only thing i have to do tomorrow is go get my feet done and go to work so i'm gonna try to do it the rest of the day other than that but i did get my nails done today so y'all know i'm getting my feet done because i got my nails done she did them so freaking cute i was gonna do white bows with just all pink but we ended up going with black and i just love it it's so cute and i'm gonna get my toes black french tip because my toes always gotta match my hands we about to head out the door and go to work I got my little friend coming to the club tonight, so we are about to make some money. One thing about Honey K, somebody gonna come to the club to see her. Let's go make this money. Good morning, y'all. It's the next morning. I just did my money count. I was dead. I was dead as hell. Like, dead to the world. Last night when I got home from work, I was gonna try to do the money count, but I washed my face and everything. I was like, baby, I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. I was whooped. I just ran my money right now. I did better than I thought I did for Friday and for how the club was last night. We did our big one. I think March is gonna get even better than February. I made 100, 200, 300, 400, 5, 6, 7, and then in big bills, we have 20s and 2 plus 100, that's 800, and then 20 is 820, and then this is leftover ones we have 88 dollars really made 908 i'm happy with my 908 almost a band that's two nights in a row we done made 900 dollars two things i'm gonna say about last night as a dancer that has been dancing for years now i know i'm not considered a baby dancer but i'm not considered a veteran either because i'm only three years in but i feel like in my three years i have learned a lot seen a lot and i have the common sense that some may lack so with that being said if you're a baby dancer out there, here's a tip. Don't step on toes. It'll get you beat up. I didn't fight, but she got beat up for stepping on toes. This same girl in my club does it a lot. And I understand we all hustling and we all trying to get a bag, but stepping on toes is so weird to me. I might be a little bit of a hypocrite with this, but it's boundaries to it. Like, okay, so let me give an example of what stepping on toes is. Basically, stepping on toes is when, like, I'm talking to a customer or dancing for, or dancing for a customer, and you decide to come over there and try to talk to them mid-convo, mid them throwing money at me, the middle of me doing anything with the customer. You come over there and start trying to talk to them and take them from me. You stepping on toes, and I hate that shit, and I know... That it's like we're we all trying to get to a bag and stuff, but I feel like it's a certain way to do it. Like for me, for example, um, I've like tried to get a dude attention that's throwing money at a girl before, whatever. Because if that's the only nigga with money in the club, we all want some of it. You know, it, that's just that's just how it goes. And I'm not oblivious to that. I know that when it starts to get to the point where it's like you're already making money somewhere else, and then my customer comes into the club, and I feel like I'm not explaining it to the right extent, like how thirsty. Y'all, I was so lit. I broke my bow off of my damn... This finger's supposed to have a bow on it, like this one. I have the bow, though, so I'm about to go get my feet done right now. I'm about to get dressed and stuff and go get my feet done. So when I go get my feet done, I'm going to tell them if they could glue my bow back on for me. Because I was going to super glue it, but I'm like, I'm going to go to the nail shop. I might as well have them do it for me. I got to finish editing this video today, so that's what I'm going to be doing all day for real. Because I got to have it up by tomorrow. I will check back in with y'all when I get back to the house. All right, y'all, so I'm back at home from getting my toes done. Jenny did her big one. I asked her if she could get as close to this color as possible on my toes, on my French tip, because I like to be matchy-matchy. She did a really good job with that. Let me show y'all before I start eating my food. These are my toes. Black French tip. She did it so perfect. Like, it matches perfectly. We love that. Oh, 
I need to go back to using Sensodyne toothpaste. When I was using Pronamo, I never had sensitivity problems. I recently got a different toothpaste, but I'm about to go back to that because because when I just drank that right now, that mm -mm, my tooth just felt hella sensitive. Y'all, I'm like so obsessed with veggie spring rolls. Love, 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 love veggie spring rolls. From certain places though, because some, some be I Like these usually be better. They're not fresh, I could tell. Anyways, I didn't come to talk to y'all about veggie spring rolls. I wanted to ask y'all a question because I had just remembered something that was said to me last night. And I want to talk about it because there is a such thing as a backhanded compliment. And I'm not saying she intentionally did, but it just gave off backhanded compliment. And y'all tell me if y'all think this is considered a compliment for real or what? Because I took it as a compliment, but I took it as a backhanded compliment. And the reason is because I hate talking while I'm eating because I be wanting to eat and I don't talk when I eat. I really should not be drinking this. So basically last night this girl had told me like, oh my God, let me see your nails. I saw you posted your nails on Instagram. I'm showing her. She like, I hate duck nails, but I love them on you. Okay, I took that as a like, you know, a compliment. I'm like, thank you girl. After she said that, she was like, you always keep yourself really cute. And then like every now and then you do some like ghetto stuff, but you like do it in a cute way. Like your nails and your hair and stuff. I was like, one thing about me, my honeybees know, y'all know this already. I'm gonna do my own thing when it comes to this nail shit and this hair shit. I have my own little style with it. I just be doing it how I wanna do it. For example, duck nails. Everybody don't like duck nails, but I like duck nails and I like them on me. So I'm gonna get duck nails. Some people be like, oh, you don't need baby hairs and stuff, but I like baby hairs. Sometimes I don't do baby hairs. Sometimes I do do baby hairs. When you call it ghetto, I'm just like, I don't take offense to the word ghetto at all. But it's just how you use the word. So to describe like when I get duck nails or when I have my lace fronts and stuff as little ghetto cute things that I do, it's like, okay, thanks. But people sometimes confuse like style or culture with ghetto. My type of style could be considered ghetto to some people, I guess. I don't know. I felt like it was a backhanded compliment in a way, but hey, that might just be me. But one thing I love about me, even if somebody considers my nails ghetto or my wigs ghetto, whatever i love them i love my nose i love how i get my hair i love it so i really don't be caring and that's a fact i think it really just comes down to what you consider ghetto what do you determine ghetto to be that was my little mini rant what's up guys today is saturday night and i'm late as hell so i gotta go i just got my hair braided up right now in a clip but i'm about to take it down once i get to work it's wet right now so i just got it clipped up but yeah we about to go, y'all, because I got about 15 minutes to make it before my house fee go up, so I got to go. What's up, guys? So I'm back at home. Exhausted is an understatement. It's going to take everything in me to get up for church, for real. My eyes hurt. I don't know if y'all know or not, but I only got three hours of sleep. But my Sunday schedule is going to work for me to catch up on some sleep because y'all know I'm going to go to church. And then after church, baby, I'm coming home and I'm going to bed. But okay, let's talk about tonight. It was the okay Saturday. I had just partnered up with this girl tonight. And then we had a bag together. Besides the bag we had, I had one other little tiny bag with another girl. We had danced with some people. And then I made a little bit of money by myself at the bar. I saw this couple and I was like, I'm going to just try it. So I tried it. And the money that I made by myself is what I made from them. So I was happy about that. There was like a situation tonight with some confusion about a bag. And that's why you really got to be careful like who you let hold your bags. I'm not going to lie. Most of the time when I partner with anybody, I hold the bag. Unless I know you. I will tell a girl like I'm going to hold the bag. Because... Y'all know I've had people leave with my bags before and all type of stuff. But basically tonight, this girl, we write our name on the bag. This is an example. So when you have a like a trash bag like this, usually we use trash bags when we're partnering with somebody. So that way we can write our names on the bag and split the money with them at the end of the night. And then we also have a personal bag. This is my personal dancer bag. And whenever I make my money by myself, I'll put my money in that bag. But whenever I dance with a girl or a section, we put it in trash bags and we write our names on the bag. Tonight, there was a situation where 
a girl had a bag with another girl. They have never partnered together or nothing before. Basically, when the girl went up to the other girl asking her like, oh, where's that bag at? Let's count it. The other girl was acting like she didn't know what was going on. She like, what bag? What are you talking about? We never had a bag together. She like, yes, we did. We danced in that section together over there, like telling her everything that happened. And even the sweeper who picked that bag up was like, y'all danced together over there. Like, you know y'all did. And she was just like, like acting confused at first. And then she was like, oh. And basically what she did was she ended up counting that money with another girl, thinking that that was their bag together and it wasn't. She didn't know the girl name. It low key didn't make sense to me though, how you could still split a bag with somebody. That's not name on the bag. That makes no sense to me. Yes, she did. I meant to her wrong. She said she messed up. But I'm sorry, like, what you mean? You counted my money with somebody else. And the girl told you that that wasn't her name on the bag. That don't make no sense. They had a whole story. The situation got handled though. It is what it is. Nobody ended up fighting. Also, y'all, today is my best friend's birthday. She's in Jamaica though with her man. Everybody comment happy birthday, Shay, in the comments. Show my bestie some love, period. But I'm so happy for her because she's in Jamaica and she's traveling and I just love that for her. So when she get back, I got her gifts for her and stuff, of course. And we gonna have to do something. If y'all know Shay really my role dog, like, bro. The one person I feel like I don't have to ever question. 11 years of friendship. A lot of people not even having friendships like that. But I'm about to just finish straightening my money, y'all. All right, y'all. So our money count is done. We have 100, 200, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 800. And then we have 29 extra dollars in ones. That's 829. And then we have $5. So 829 plus $5 is 834. So we made $834 on a Saturday. We did good for the way the club looked tonight. The only thing I would say is I didn't even try to get into trippy red section, but my energy was just telling me not to go over there. So I didn't. He threw a bag tonight. He threw the most money tonight in the club. I believe G Herbo was in the club tonight too, but but they didn't do much. But um, let me go ahead and do my night routine and go to bed so I can get up for church in the morning because it's 6 a.m. already. I want to get like three hours of sleep. I'll see y'all in a few hours. Good morning, guys. So it's Sunday morning now. Y'all know the routine for Sunday mornings. I'm going to church. I am running late today, but we're still on the way, so I'll probably be about 15 minutes late, not too crazy, but I'm still going to go, obviously. I'm really tired, and I'm really bloated, so I know my cycle's about to start soon. So usually when my cycle's about to start, I tend to like sleep more and stuff like that. But I haven't been sleeping, so my eyes, like, I woke up this morning and my eyes were, like, puffy. I'm like, oh, yeah, I need to do my under-eye mask when I get back home. And I need to sleep today, for real. Regardless if I'm tired or not, I'm going to get up and go to church. Because at the end of the day, I be tired and I still get up and go to work. I be tired and I still get up and go do other things. So, you know, it's about priorities. I really need to hear the word today. Probably the only thing I don't get up and do when I'm tired is go to the gym. I'm gonna just listen to my music and see y'all once church is over. I'm reminded of the time. Oh, mountains for me. Show up for me. Down on my knees. Down on my knees. Alright guys, so I'm back home from church and I'm really like exhausted. It's already 3 o'clock. I've been outside. I have went and got Jamaican food though. 
from this Jamaican spot called A Beautiful Life Jamaican. It's a spot downtown. I got an oxtail plate with a side of mac and cheese. Oxtail plate comes with cabbage, plantains, rice and peas, and oxtails. I definitely feel sleep deprived right now. So I'm going to eat this food and go to sleep because the past two days I've got three hours of sleep and that's not okay. So, and I have a photo shoot tomorrow. So I need some beauty rest because I will be going to work tonight also. So I need to get some rest tonight, go to work and get some more rest before my shoot because I don't want to look tired. I don't want to be low energy for my shoot. The shoot is honestly a last minute shoot. I hit my photographer up yesterday and asked him if he could shoot me today. But then I like, no, that's just entirely too much on my plate. So I switched it to tomorrow. I kind of wanted to do like a 30K photo shoot, but then I was like, I think I'll just do a 50K photo shoot. So let me show y'all my food. My mac, my oxtails, plantains and cabbage. Yeah, so we about to devour this. By the way, I don't even know if I talked to y'all about service, but church was amazing. Service was great as always. Yeah, I'm just super glad I was able to make it today. On that note, I gotta eat and I gotta go to sleep. I'll check back in with y'all when I wake up from my nap. What's up guys? So it's Sunday night now. After I talked to y'all earlier, I literally ate my food, watched some more of Love is Blind because it takes me a while to finish a show. Like I know some people could finish a show really fast, but like I really don't watch TV like that. So I still haven't watched the new BMF. Like that came out like what, a week ago? But when I was watching it, I'm like, first of all, what's that girl name? Chelsea? I think her name Chelsea. I really want to talk about it because this season is like interesting to me. The girl who says she looked like Megan Fox, I think her name Chelsea. I'm not good with the names, but she really got to stop being so insecure. And then Sarah Ann, she is scandalous. Why are you even DMing somebody who did not pick you? It's already given pick me. She said she never want to be a pick me. It's giving pick me because you still DM'd him or messaged him whatever while he was engaged. And you knew he was engaged and he didn't pick you from the jump. So you're the second option and you're okay with that. Got it. The way AD sat her down and told her exactly how I would have told her. Talk about some, I'm not here to be interrogated by these women and da da da, -da or judged. Y'all both are in the wrong. And y'all both gonna go hop on jet skis? That makes y'all look even worse, honestly. So that whole situation is like... And I'm sorry, ain't no way my fiance is out at 5 a.m. with a girl he was talking to in the pod. And I'm going to believe that he just dropped her off at home and came back home. No, absolutely not. No. I don't, I don't care. Temptation is too much. He should have never put himself in that situation as a man who is engaged. Absolutely not. I'm so glad, old girl, what's her name? Lindsay or something. I'm so glad she decided to just call it quits. Because that's already, the red flag is there. It's in your face. And she saw the red flag and she, yeah. And then Clay, my dad cheated on my mom. My dad cheated on my mom. I might cheat. I don't want to cheat. I don't want to be a cheater. But my dad cheated on my mom. So that's what I'm scared of, being a cheater. Like, you're just speaking that into your life. So obviously you're about to be a cheater. And AD, you need to go on about your life. Like, AD, run. I'm telling you. I see red flags in Clay all the way. It just gives... He likes AD for the wrong reasons. I don't know. I don't like him. I do not like Clay at all. She talked about some, I love everything that comes out of your mouth. What? What? <laughs> like, I hate everything that man says. Like, what? <laughs> if y'all watched the new season of Love is Blind, then y'all know what I'm talking about. But these couples are really interesting this season. I want to know who's going to get married. Uh, there's only one couple that's, like, really good together. It's the... I don't know their names, y'all. It's the white guy and the Spanish girl. They're on the same page with everything. They're like the top couple. Y'all comment down below if y'all watching the season. But anyways, tonight I did bare minimum makeup. Literally took everything in me to get up out of bed, to be honest. All I did was cover my dark spots. And let's talk about how I don't have no pimples. I got rid of that pimple that was in my last video. And she had to go. She wasn't welcome here and she knew it. Yeah, I just covered my dark marks. I didn't do no contour, no concealer, no nothing. No makeup on my forehead at all. Just my cheeks. Y'all know my, my hyperpigmentation area. Just my cheeks. Real quick, dabbled on some foundation. And I just put a little bit of setting spray. And I was just like, that's it for today, honestly. Because 
it's Sunday and baby, I'm tired, but I still feel cute. So we finna go see what tonight is talking about. Let me head out this door and I'll check back in with y'all either when I get to work or when I get back home. Either one. What's up guys? So today's Monday now and I have not did my money count for last night, but I'm going to do it as soon as I get back home. I'm just throwing on something right now. I'm about to head out the door. I was just packing my little bag real quick because I'm about to go to do this photo shoot. I literally just found whatever I had already at the house to just do the shoot with. Like it really wasn't planned out for real. I think the pictures are still going to come out fire though. We are at our shoot. We just pulled up. We're about to go inside. My bow fell off again while I was at work last night. My little white bow. So, my photographer, he said he could fix it to where, anyways, to where it'll be like, he'll copy this bow and put it on this finger. So, I'm like, okay, period. So, y'all would never know in the photos. But I'm just so annoyed because it broke, but this time I didn't find it. Yeah, I'm about to get out the car and go inside do the shoe and then when we get back home we're gonna do last night's money count and i need to update my envelopes some of y'all was asking me like an update on the envelopes so i'm gonna show y'all that when i get home as well and let's go do this photo shoot and body this okay what i'm thinking is like we can have you like right here you see how it kind of cuts off we didn't shoot here before did we Nah, we shot, I think, like, over there. And then this would be, like, your background. Oh, look at that. Oh, right. <laughs> you need help for <laughs> Right. You got the perfect look. I uh, know. <laughs> okay. What's your name, Ray's Higher? My camera? Yeah. Uh-uh, it's okay. I thought you wanted me right here, though. Yeah, but you, it's easier to get into that. Okay. There we go. Thank you. Behind the scenes. Oh, my goodness. There's definitely some good ones in there. I really don't know what else to do. <laughs> Alright, so let's like this? Yeah. Oh, yes. Perfect. Hey, yeah. I don't even think I had these since the last We're back from our shoot, guys. The shoot went good. He already sent me over my pictures. He works so fast, y'all. That's why I like working with him. Because one thing about it, he gonna get you your pictures back quick and in a hurry oh i'm about to go through my pictures and like the ones that i like and then he's gonna send them back to me i need to do this money count so i'm gonna do this money count right now i'm gonna just unpack this stuff and then do this money count with y'all i also got some packages downstairs but going back downstairs to get them is like i could get them tomorrow but i said that yesterday i'm probably just gonna go get them later i'll probably show y'all what i got i got a few things i got a few packages honestly if i don't show y'all tonight <laughs> then i'll just show y'all in the morning y'all i'm watching love is blind but i'm about to straighten the money it's in here while i watch love is blind how we feeling over here okay guys so i finished the money count and and we have this so it is 100 200 300, 400, 500, 600, and then we have 76. So we made 676 on Sunday. And that was from two sections. One was a two girl split and one was just me by myself. And I had danced for these girls. They were so nice. One of them was a dancer at a gentleman's club. And she actually wants to work at my club. So she came to check it out. She showed me love. And she was like, I'm definitely going to come back and see you, girl. And they were just really cool. They saved my night. And shout out to the two dudes that threw money at me in the beginning of the night, too. And it's so funny because the dude who threw money at me in the beginning of the night, he had asked me, like, what do you do besides dancing? And a lot of dudes ask me that all the time. And I be telling them, like, I do YouTube. Y'all, why did he send me a picture of him watching my YouTube on Instagram? I was like, not you really going to go watch. He was like, you a vibe. Why wouldn't I watch? I'm like, period. <laughs> so if you're watching this, shout out to you. I'm going to go downstairs and get my packages, actually, y'all. So I'm going to open up those packages with y'all. So I'm about to go downstairs and get them right now because I'm like, two of the packages been sitting down there for like three days already. I just need to go get them because they're like in lockers. So after like five or seven days, something like that, they um, take them out the lockers. So I'm like, let me just go get my stuff. Before I go downstairs and get my packages and I forget to do this, I wanted to update y'all on my envelope challenge. I'm about to fill some of them up right now. 
with some cash that I have. I've been trying to stay up to date. So I did tell y'all about this challenge in January, which was when I wanted to start it. But unfortunately, January was a very hectic, complicated month for me. So I wasn't able to really like stay dedicated to it. So like I had said in my past video, February was really my new year. I felt like February was a fresh start for me. So I decided to start over in February so that I could really be dedicated and really do it for real you know so i was like okay i was like february is gonna be my new year i'm just gonna do it in february i'm gonna start over and do it in february so i did that and right now i should be up to date but i'm about to check so this one says 180 i'm gonna put 180 in here 80 one two four six eight hello so 180 going in the box with the rest of the envelopes hello this one says 204 oh my god hello okay there's 204 so we're gonna put two and then we got one two three four put that in the box we got 208 so I'm gonna do 205. So that's 205. And then one, two, three. That makes 208. Put that in the box. Alright, guys, so I'm gonna count all the envelopes I have done already. Today is March 4th. So I don't know if I'm up to date to March 4th, but we're gonna see. And okay so we have 28 envelopes done so we are behind five days so i need to fill up five more envelopes and i'll be up to date for today but i don't have any more cash so tomorrow i'll go to the bank if i keep the vlog going then i'll show y'all me doing that tomorrow i'm really proud of myself for doing this and being consistent with it i'm just gonna really stick to the plan and prove to myself that i can get this done if y'all know about this envelope challenge it's 22k in 100 days so we gotta get it done and we're gonna get it done and i'm gonna be so proud of myself when i do and I'm definitely going to have to celebrate when I get this finished, y'all. I should be finished by, like, I may if I do it the right way. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Because, baby, 22K in 100 days, that's great. So now I'm going to just go downstairs and get my packages. And I'll open them and show y'all what I got. All right, guys. So it's the next day. And... I never opened my packages last night for y'all, but I'm about to do like a mini haul. I got a bunch of stuff that I got in my P.O. box, my regular mail, um, what I got from Ross yesterday, and just, we about to just do a mini haul, y'all. We gonna start off light. I went to the grocery store, got some drinks. I got this pressed drink. I actually have multiple locations out here, but... I saw it in the store and I was like, I'm going to just grab one. It has apple, orange, strawberries, mango, peach, lemon, elderberry, and vitamin C. Then I got an Olipop. I got the, if you know what these are, they support your digestive health. Um, I've never tried Olipops. I got the, the cherry cola one. I've never had one before and a lot of the girls be drinking them. So I was like, I'm going to try one. And the cherry cola seemed like a good flavor to try. So that's the flavor i got to try it we'll see how that tastes and then i got some more ginger shots yesterday from ross i just got like some random stuff i'm not gonna lie i went in there to waste time i was waiting for my food to get ready so i had just went inside ross and of course i left with something i just got these leggings i love comfy clothes leggings t-shirts things like that then i got this cardigan because i wanted a cardigan for church i got this black cardigan what size is it it's small um yeah with these buttons it's cute i'm like this is a good little cardigan for church and then last i got these pink sweats so yeah i thought these were cute and i like the color it's a baby pink i got them in a size extra small everything else is a size small first my p.o box from new jersey this is a lot of stuff in here oh this looks so cute 
This is from the main brand, Beauty Vividly Reimagined. Shout out to the main brand for sending me this. So I did get an email from her actually asking me if she can send me some stuff to my P.O. box. And I told her, of course she can. So thank you so much for sending me this stuff. All of the hair accessories come in these pink bags. They're so cute. She sent us so many. Oh my gosh. Ooh, what is this? A shirt that says baddie on it. Period. Thank you, girl. So she did tell me that some of these are for my goddaughter and some of them are not. These are hair ties and you can add the charms to the hair ties. So this one says baddie. Y'all can see it has a clip on the back. And that's how you add it to the hair tie. They have different kinds of scrunchies. This one is cute. It has like glitter on it. it has like glitter on it. This is the Barbie one. Super cute. It has diamonds in it and it's pink. So cute. So this is how it's supposed to look, y'all. Super cute. Make sure y'all go and check them out. Okay, so next we got a package from Fashion Nova. And I know exactly what this is. Actually, one is for me and one is for my best friend. Fashion Nova was having a buy one, get one free for the Ed Hardy sweaters. I got me a black Ed Hardy crop sweater. I got a size small this time because when I had got an extra small last time in that red, it was too tight. It was too tight on my arms. It was suffocating my girls. Like, it was not fitting good. So I was like, let me go ahead and get a size small. This how the back looks. And the front. But all the bottoms were sold out, y'all. All of them. And I think it was because they had that buy one, get one free going on. This one is for Shay. I got her the blue one that she wanted. The back looks. The front. That one is for her. So she can have the whole set. I think these were like 97 on the website. Something like that. So I got her the bottoms to match it. Air Hardy. Now she got the top and bottoms. So I had ordered me some more pasties off Amazon. Because if you know, you know. It doesn't make sense to buy $10 pasties from the house mom. When you can buy a pack of pasties from Amazon for $13. And they come mixed. They come black and nude. Well, the one, the pack that I get does. I hate how the circle ones look. It's a no for me. I got two more of the sets that I had showed y'all a little while ago. I got size extra small again. It's like a gray blue color. But this one is the shorts. The other one was the pants. And for the girlies, I want to get a pair. It's already linked on my Amazon storefront. And my Amazon storefront is linked in the description down below. I got this blue color. I feel like I don't have really anything that this, that's this color. So then I got this set too. Size extra small. But these are pants they're not expensive at all those are like $20 a set so first I'm gonna open up this DHL box I really don't know what this could be y'all this is a whole entire clothing haul that I'm supposed to be doing so I'm not even gonna show y'all that and then last but not least this is actually for Shay and yeah that's everything I got y'all I also wanted to do the rest of my envelopes because like I told y'all yesterday I was behind like six days or something five days I'm going to do one two three four five six seven envelopes to be up to date we're gonna put 188 in there one 180 I need eight dollars eight we're gonna put that in here this one is 220 220. This one is 140. Do 140. This one is 120 and 100. Put it in the box. We're gonna do 124, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. This one is 224, 220. Two twenty-four. And then we're gonna do one more envelope. Two twelve. We have two hundred. Okay, guys. So I finished my envelopes. This is how we're looking, and these are the ones that we still have to do. We are all up to date until tomorrow. So today is March fifth. We're good until tomorrow. 
So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here, you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Make sure y'all don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Make sure you turn your post notifications on so you can be notified every time I post a video because who don't want to watch my videos? Everybody want to watch my videos, period. I love you guys so much.